Hello and welcome to another Wondershare recovery video. Today I'm tackling a common USB error that's left many of us scratching our heads. And that is the please insert a disc into USB drive warning. Almost all of us have encountered this error whilst trying to access files on our USB. So trust me, I know how frustrating it can be. In today's video, I'll show you why this error happens and more importantly, how to fix it. So I'll walk you through some simple step-by-step -step solutions to get your USB back in action. But before we dive in to say goodbye to that annoying error message, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, stick around. Before we look at some practical solutions, I believe that we should always understand the cause of our problems first. And the concept is simple, because by doing so, you will then know how to go about it the next time it happens. So for the sake of this video, I have handpicked three common reasons why you might be seeing this message. The first reason is drive letter conflict. Sometimes your USB drive tries to use a drive letter that's already assigned to another partition. The second reason is corrupt files or malware. If your USB drive has corrupted files or has been infected by a virus, it can affect the drive's performance and even prevent it from being recognized. The last reason on my list is improper use or PC controller issues. Now that you know the possible causes, let's move on to how to fix this error step by step. The good news is that the solutions I'll be showing you in this video are solutions that I've personally found effective, and I'm confident that they can help you too. So let's try the first one. One of the simplest and most effective fixes is manually changing the drive letter. I've used this method many times, and it works wonders when there's a drive letter conflict. So to do this, all you need to do is the following. First of all, make sure you're logged in on your PC or laptop as an administrator, and then plug in your USB drive. In Windows Explorer, open this PC. Right click on this PC, and then select show more options. Then select manage, and from there, click on disk management. Now look for your USB drive in the list. Right click on it when you found it, and then select change drive letter and paths. Now click on change, then assign a new drive letter that's not in use by another device. You can now simply hit OK and then try accessing your drive once again. But sometimes the issue may lie deeper and that's where you might need other solutions. For me, I think this method is the most straightforward approach and can often fix the problem with just a few taps. So to try it, all you need to do is the next few steps. In the Windows search bar, type Device Manager and then open it. Look for Universal Serial Bus Controllers and once found, expand the list. You now need to locate your USB drive, then right click on it and select Update Driver. From the options that are shown on screen, just choose Search Automatically for updated driver software. Windows will now search for, and if any are found, install the latest drivers. Once it's complete, just restart your computer and then check if the drive is now working. If it is still not working though, well, I've seen this happen when a drive has file system issues. In that case, formatting the drive can help you out. However, it does come with a warning. I know that formatting can be a very difficult decision to make, but it has been my go-to method when all other methods fail. Just remember though that it will erase all the data on the drive. But luckily, that's where part three of this video might help you perfectly. If you do wish to format your USB drive, well, just follow these next steps. Plug in your USB drive and then open this PC. Right click on it and then select see more options. 
Then once again, select Manage. Now go to Disk Management. Find the USB drive, right click on it, and then choose Format. Enter a new name in Volume Label, and then choose the correct file system. For example, NTFS or FAT32. Now click OK to start the formatting process. And once it's done, your drive should be accessible again. But what if you're still having trouble? Well, it's time to try a more technical solution. This part is a powerful tool that can fix deeper problems. I've used it successfully when drives were completely unresponsive. So to try this, well, do the next steps. Search for Command Prompt, then right click and then select Run as Administrator. Now type Disk Part and press Enter. Now type List Disk and press Enter to see all the connected drives. Here you'll need to find your USB drive's number. Once found, then type Select Disk X, but just replace X with your USB drive's number and then press Enter. Now type Clean, then press Enter, and then type Create Partition Primary, and hit Enter once again. We can now type Active, followed by pressing Enter, and then finally type Format space FS equals FAT32, before finally pressing Enter. When it's complete, exit command prompt and then check if your drive is now accessible. If this part didn't solve it, then you should start considering fixing some hardware issues. The hardware and devices troubleshooter can automatically detect and fix common issues. I've seen it work for minor USB problems, but it's still worth a shot. Go to control panel then navigate to hardware and sound, and then devices and printers. Click on devices, then scroll down to more devices and printer settings. Now find your USB drive in the new window, then right click on it and select troubleshooter. The troubleshooter will then scan for issues and suggest steps on how to fix them. So just follow any on-screen prompts. Once it's done, you can now try accessing your USB. However, if none of the previous methods work, you might just need to delete the partition and create a new one. This is a more advanced fix, but it is sometimes necessary for drives that are deeply corrupted. I've used it as a last resort, but it worked well. Like before, open this PC, right click on it, then scroll to show more options. And then once again, select manage, then choose disk management. Right click on the partition of the USB drive and select delete volume, and then confirm the action. Right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. Follow the setup wizard, assign the necessary space, drive letter and format options. Once it's done, your USB drive should now be functioning once again. Now these methods have helped me and many others solve the please insert a disk into USB drive error. And I'm hoping one of these solutions has worked for you too. The solutions that we've discussed so far are great for fixing the USB error but they do come with a risk of data loss. If you've lost important files during the repair process, well, don't worry, because you can still recover them. And the best tool for this job is the Wondershare Recover It app. So I'll now show you how you can get your lost data back. First of all, install and launch the Recover It program on your computer or laptop. Once installed, open it up and look for the SD card section, and then select the USB drive where you lost your data. Click Scan to start the recovery process. This will allow Recoverit to begin searching for the lost files on the USB drive. Once pressed, Recoverit will now start scanning the drive for the missing data. The scanning duration depends on the amount of data on the drive, so it could take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. 
You can choose, however, to pause or stop the scan at any point, especially if you spot your files that you're trying to recover early. If you do pause, you can always resume later to find more files. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a list of recoverable files. Click on any file to preview it and confirm it's the one that you wish to recover. If you are satisfied, click Recover to restore the file and then you can just repeat this process for all the other files that you wish to recover. And that's it! You now know how to fix the USB error and recover lost data. So thank you very much for watching and of course don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more helpful tech solutions in the future.